Whether it's a portfolio filled with trades for your friends down at the shop, or a massive three-ring binder filled with pages and pages of your rares and mythics, selecting the right binder or binder pages is important to every collector of Magic the Gathering, as well as other trading cards. Just like with sleeves and deck boxes, there's a wide variety of choices available to you. This video will look at the quality and cost of both the Ultra Pro and Monster portfolios, as well as the different types of binder pages available for your three ring binder. Let's start with options for binder sheets. The best manufacturer of binder sheets is Ultra Pro. The most common Ultra Pro binder sheet is the nine pocket top loading platinum pages, which usually sell for about 20 cents each or 10 cents if you buy in bulk. There's not much to say about the standard nine pocket binder sheet. You surely own a hundred of these already. Ultra Pro is pretty tough, and a lot of players either put two rares in each pocket back to back, or sometimes even stuff half a dozen duplicate cards in each pocket. Doing this stretches out the pocket and makes cards likely to fall out if the binder is ever stored on its side. Many players worry about using top-loading pockets for their trade folder due to them being slightly easier to pull a card out of, and thus slightly easier to steal from. A lot of people don't know that Ultra Pro actually makes a wide variety of binder sheets, including an 18-pocket sheet, as well as theft-deterring side-loading binder sheets. These are the Ultra Pro Premium Binder Sheets. It's the 18-pocket deluxe page. There's top-loading pockets on each side, separated by a middle black web which frames the individual cards. The 18 pocket is also a slightly tighter fit. You won't be able to easily stuff half a dozen duplicate cards in these pockets. In fact, it holds a single card fairly snug, so duplicates probably aren't a good idea at all. The transparent front has the highest clarity, and of course is acid and PVC free. The pockets are also stapled more firmly to the page, and while both types of sheet can rip, the 18 pocket is a bit more sturdy and a bit less likely to tear. Like I said, I like to think of these as premium binder sheets. Their cost certainly reflects that belief. These go for a whopping 40 to even 50 cents each, although buying in bulk can cut that down to 20, 25 cents per page. Still, something to consider if you are going to need hundreds and hundreds of these pages for a large collection. Ultra Pro has also shifted manufacturing of these to the United States. As I said, most players prefer to keep their trades in an Ultra Pro or Monster side-loading portfolio. We'll look at those in just a minute, but first, let's look at the side-loading binder sheets offered by Ultra Pro. These may be a bit harder to find at your local game store, but Ultra Pro does manufacture side-loading binder sheets. This is the 9-pocket side-loader, and it holds cards very securely. I actually have a bit of trouble sliding cards in and out of these pockets, and that's kind of the point. These cards are less likely to slide out on their own, or be slid out by thieving fingers. Since this is the 9 pocket, if you put two cards in each pocket back to back, there's absolutely no way to access the cards from the back of the sheet. Again, this will likely greatly appeal to people who pass their binder around a lot. This typically sells for about 30 cents, I've seen it as high as 40 cents, depending on where you get it from. Again, buying in bulk can get the price down to as low as 15 cents per page, which isn't bad. The side loaders are also stapled more firmly to the page than the nine pocket top loaders. This is pretty good quality for both binder sheets and, quite frankly, for Ultra Pro. All right, let's talk terrible max protection. Don't buy Max Protection. It's a bad brand. It's the worst brand. The sleeves scratch and disintegrate, 
and the binder pagers are absolute crap. I was going to take a close look at the subtle ways Max Protection sheets were worse, scratches and subtle things like that, and as I was loading this, wait for it, here it comes, this happened unexpectedly as I put this card in, and, uh, it tore right at the top a little bit. And I became frustrated and pulled down just a little. I am not applying any pressure here. And it just came right off. That was the slightest bit of pressure. An amount of pressure you could have put in just trying to slide a few cards in and out. It tore like nothing. I was pretty upset right now because I only had a few of these pages for the video. And two of them came out of the box already torn. These things come out of the box torn, it tore with very little effort, and I just decided at this point, you know what, I don't need to spend a lot of time on max protection. It just is the worst. After I finish sliding this up, I'm going to lightly apply pressure and show how well it tears down, how easily it tears down. These are the same cost as Ultra Pro. Why would you buy them? Don't buy them. Look at this. Unbelievable. I mean, what? It's just terrible quality. I'm sorry, but there's no excuse for this. At this point, I really am sour to the whole brand. BCW makes a four-pocket oversized card sheet. There's a few others floating around. There's not much to say about these. I like the BCW sheet because it's big, it's loose. You can put in eight cards back to back. And if you're a neurotic like me and you sleeve your oversized cards, then they fit in the pockets just fine. This is great for your oversized commander cards, promotional cards, if you play ch plane chase, things like that. Time to talk Ultra Pro binders, or also called portfolios. The Ultra Pro portfolio is going to cost you about 20 bucks. It holds 360 cards. If you damage, stretch out, or tear a sheet or pocket, there's no taking it out and replacing it. They get scratched and scuffed pretty easy. 20 bucks gets you 200 nine pocket binder sheets which can hold 400 cards so there's a bit of savings going on for binder sheets over the portfolio but i suppose you also have to buy the three ring binder i'm not a fan of the cover on these ultra pro portfolios this is maybe a personal aesthetic but it feels kind of cheap toy-like overly plastic it's great for tossing in your backpack, tossing in the back of your car, I guess. I tend to not want to do that with my magic cards, but maybe you're more rough and tumble than I am. I'm just not a fan of this exterior. Ultra Pro has a lot of versions of their portfolio. It comes in many colorful covers. It's probably the most common one that you're going to see. Their side loading. They're very popular for trade folders to pass around the shop. You can't stuff a lot of cards in these, and I've found them to scuff easily. This may not matter to you, but here's something that does, and this is true for the Monster Binder as well. While this is acid and PVC free, the black backing on these is not acid free. You must put your cards in here sleeved. If you put unsleeved cards in the Ultra Pro or Monster binder, then there's a chance that over time, this is a slim chance, something that would only happen to an unsleeved card sitting in here for probably six months, maybe even a year, it can melt into the back of your card, ruining your trading card. It's really a wonder that they didn't make the back cushion acid free. Again, this is not something guaranteed to happen to you, it's highly unlikely, but I do want to warn you about the fact that it is not acid-free, and 
there is a chance that unsleeved cards stored here over time can become damaged. If you use either the Ultra Pro or Monster Portfolio, only put sleeved cards in the pockets. Now, if you're going to be moving the cards in and out of these, like for trade folder, things like that, it's not a problem. It's only if the unsleeved card sits untouched and unmoving for a great period of time. And again, I'm talking over six months. But a lot of people do put money cards in these portfolios, stick it on the shelf, and don't touch it for a year. Well, if that's your Jace the Mind Sculptor, you're going to be in for real shock when you finally try and take him out. This is the Monster 4 Pocket Portfolio. I'm showing you the Monster 4 Pocket, and I just showed you the Ultra Pro 9 Pocket. Ultra Pro does make a 4 Pocket binder like this, and Monster makes a 9 Pocket binder like the Ultra Pros we just looked at. The main difference between Ultra Pro and Monster is the exterior cover and a certain degree of the interior quality. I'll get to that in just a moment. The four pocket holds 160 cards. It costs a lot more than Ultra Pro, at about 20 bucks for the four pocket and 30 bucks for the nine pocket. Very expensive. Is it better quality? The old, epilepsy-inducing, hologram-covered monster binders were much, much better quality. These new matte ones, they're a bit of a step down from the prior quality of monster product. They're much nicer to look at, and actually, I'm a real fan of the matte cover. I like it a lot. It has a great feel, it comes in a variety of matte colors, but the interior isn't the old monster high quality. Is it still better than Ultra Pro in terms of quality? Yes, but not by much. And, just like with Ultra Pro, the black cushion that your card sits on is not acid free. You're going to want to put sleeved cards in here. The pages still stretch, still scratch, still scuff. In rare cases, they tear. If you are going to pay the Monster Portfolio Premium, you're doing so mostly for the really nifty cover. As I said, I'm a fan of the matte, and little, little more quality. Is a lot more money worth a bit more quality? Again, assess your needs. Remember, different players and different collectors have different needs. Your job is to accurately assess what your needs are and then determine which of these products best fit those needs.